Hello and good morning from a very soggy Whitehaven Harbour. Whitehaven Harbour been on the TV uh, a couple of times over the last couple of years. Firstly Coronation Street, Pat Phelan fell into the sea just somewhere over there behind me by the lighthouse and uh, down here in the harbour is the boat that they stayed on and where Eileen dropped her picnic bag into the water. Also it appeared in the bay featuring Morven Christie ITV's uh, police drama set in uh, Morecambe Bay area but they actually filmed the harbour side scenes here and at the uh, fish processing plant but it's not the harbour I'm here to see it is if you can see it behind my brolly no there it is it's the beacon the beacon is one of two indoor attractions in Whitehaven the other one being the rum story which I've already visited this year and filmed and it's up on the channel I'll put a link up in the top corner and in the description below for the rum story it's me <laughs> I've got the map, that's the way around the museum. You're looking through a mirror so it's backwards. So you start at the top and you work down. So that's what I'm gonna do, start at the top and work down. You start the museum on the top floor, the fourth floor. And uh, up here, there is the light and dark gallery which currently has a, an exhibition by the British Museum satire the golden age of satire and that is in here this is uh, the current exhibition don't want to film too much in there because we were unsure uh, about copyright for the british museum so don't want to get into bother or get the museum into bother because I've asked for permission to film inside the beacon but they weren't sure about the, the British Museum section so we'll leave that, leave that be. On the rest of this floor you've got a fantastic panoramic view of the town and the harbour. Some binoculars there with a little set of step ladders for little people to get up and have a look out. Really is a fantastic view out those windows. We've also got some history of uh, coal mining in the area. It's a big coal mining area, so there's, there's the history of coal mining and the geology of the area. It's a cool interactive play thing here, you can put, you can put all, the, all the piers in the right place. Sugar tongue. Nope. Yep. Uh, what have we got here? North wall. Uh, north wall. This is the north. Where's the north wall go? Yeah? Let's have a look. Old New Key. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, there we go. That's that. I'm not... I'm not doing well. <laughs> Where does that go? Old North Wall. That, that's the north. There. No, that's not right, surely that's not right. I've got a few more pieces in, and that does go there. Ta da! <laughs> Did it. That is a model of that. I head up onto the mezzanine floor here and see what's up here. It says pop culture on this floor see what pop culture means and that is what it means <laughs> ZX Spectrum basic City Rollers look that one's a sign it's a signed album Duran Duran an old tenor down there that is a chopper Roy the chopper can you get on that can you get on that you can get on that just a minute I'm exhausted after that. Oh, right. Um, some more old toys here, look. That was good, brought back a few memories. Especially the old chopper. <laughs> Never had one myself, I was more of a rally grifter kind of guy. 
some classic Cumbrian scenes and faces here. We've got um, White and Rugby League there. We've got uh, Cumberland Westmoreland Wrestling. Former MP, Dr Jack Cunningham, the geese, who were fast asleep outside just as I came in. You've got the uh, World Gaining Championships, Francis Dunry from It Bites. And the world's biggest lion competition, which actually just took place this week. Moving on from the fourth floor down to the next. Changing times. So this is the area of Copeland where we are at the moment. We've got Whitehaven here where we are at the moment. Cleeta Moor, Arlington, Frissington, down from Egremont, down through Seascale, Ravenglass, and down to Millam in the south. Here is the section all about the Romans. And if you've watched my previous video on Harnut Roman Fort, there it is, right there. This section is detailing all the local history right from way back when, the Romans, through Norse, Vikings, right up to present day. Here we are, I wonder when this guy would turn up. John Paul Jones, founder of the American Navy, did his training here in Whitehaven and uh, attacked the town during the uh, War of Independence. In fact, John Paul Jones' attack on the town was the last attack on British soil by a foreign force. Who would have thought that foreign force would have been the United States? Moving around now into shipbuilding and the history of the port. Whitehaven once was one of the biggest ports in the country. I think it was second only to Liverpool by the amount of goods it used to bring in and export. Lots of famous ships built here as well. We're into the section now on local industries, the coal industry, which I've already mentioned once before. We've also got the iron ore industry, Secker's Fabrics, Marshon Chemical Works, and Kangol, all local industries. This is the section of the museum that deals with the Sellafield story. Now the Sellafield Visitor Centre used to be one of the biggest tourist attractions in the north of England. It closed however a number of years ago. So Sellafield, the company, partnered with the council, put a lot of money into the beacon here and the story of Sellafield and the story of the nuclear industry in the UK is represented here. You've got the history here of the nuclear deterrent, the nuclear bomb, making plutonium, generating electricity from nuclear energy, nuclear fuel reprocessing, right up to the future of the nuclear industry. It's all discussed in this section of the museum.
not contaminated, please leave the monitor. I wonder what would happen if anybody ever found themselves contaminated when they use that piece of equipment. The selfie section is the last part of the museum proper. Downstairs there is a, uh, a travelling exhibition gallery. Go and have a look at that. And the gift shop, we'll have a look at that while we're here as well. The current exhibition in the, uh, the Harbour Gallery, as it's known, is the Curator's Choice, which is a collection of um, stuff from the local archives, really. As I mentioned earlier, this section of the museum does have rotating and travelling exhibitions in it throughout the year, as well as the gallery upstairs where the British Museum exhibition was at the moment. That changes throughout the year. All the details of any exhibitions here can be found on the Beacons website. Just here in the gift shop we've got the visitor information point there with uh, all your information on the area, a bit of a tourist information thing, leaflets, brochures, information and such like and lots of local and uh, pocket money gifts. There's the opening hours there for the Beacon. School and bank holidays open seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Term time, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Tuesday to Saturday and Sunday, 11 till 4. And that is the admission prices to get in. That'll do then for my visit to the Beacon today. It's a great place to come for locals or if you're here visiting. Some local history in there, the history of Salah Field, some travelling exhibitions as well. Make sure you check out the website for the latest details. That is it for now. I will see you in the next one. Bye.